I want to do a few achieved and merit questions uh, asked at NCA level 2 calculus. So this is the first question. A function f is given by f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 3 minus 2x squared. Find the gradient of f at the point where x is equal to negative 1. So basically the question is this is f of x or y equal to this and you want to find dy by dx when x is one, negative 1. So let me write a notation. So f dash x is same as saying dy by dx. So dy by dx of this function is going to be 2 times 3 is 6, 6x six, six squared. The derivation, the derivative of 3 is 0, minus 4x. So that's the gradient function. And the question is, what's the gradient when x is one, negative 1? So dy by dx, when x is negative 1, is equal to, you have to put 6 into, sorry, negative 1 into this equation. So 6 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1. Now many students do mistake at this step. Uh, you can use a calculator or you should know this is negative 1 times negative 1. So this is 6 times 1 and negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. Now I'll show this how to enter this on a calculator because students tend to do this mistake. So if you want to enter this on the calculator you go okay run so 6 bracket negative 1 squared minus 4 bracket negative 1 and then go equal that is 10. Now how would you check whether this answer is right using a calculator? I have explained this a number of times so go to table menu and then type in the function as it is which is 2x cubed plus 3 minus 2x squared to x squared x squared and I will set from 1 so sorry I'll start at negative 1 at negative 1 what's the gradient is what we want to find so I have already turned the derivative on at negative 1 this is your dy by dx is 10 so your answer is right so this is right so this is an achieved question okay so let's look at this question g of x has a gradient has a gradient of this so dy by dx is this you want to find uh, g of 2 that means what's the value of the function when x is 2 is what you are supposed to find so you have got dy by dx you want to find the function or basically if you want to uh, if you want to write this, this is basically g dash x. And you want to find g of x. And when x is 2, what's the value of y? Or from y, you want to find, say this is dy by dx, and you want to find y equal to what? So here you have to anti-differentiate. So let me use a different color. So let me rewrite. So dy by dx is given to be 4x minus 6x squared. Okay, so if you want to find from from the gradient function, if you want to find the function, you have to anti-differentiate. So I can say g of x, so this is basically g dash x. So let me write it. Okay, this is g dash x is this and you want to find g of x that would be 4 x squared divided by 2 minus 6 x cubed divided by 3 plus c so I can say g of x is going to be simplifying this 4 divided by 2 is 2 so it will be 2 x squared minus 2 x cubed plus c 
Now we know when x is 1, y is 2, or g, y is 2. So basically what is this means, so you can also write this as y equal to. So I can put x is, x is 1 and y is 2 to figure out this c. So 2 is equal to 2 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 cubed plus c. So this is going to be 2, and this is also 2. So this and this gets cancelled, so c is 2. So g of x, which is same as y, is going to be 2x squared minus 2x cubed plus 2. Now how do we check whether this answer is right? If this answer is right, you should have a point 1 comma 2 on the graph. So again go to your graph, type in your function, go to table menu, uh, go to your table menu and type in the function. So let's delete this. So I remember 2 x squared and delete, delete, minus 2 x cubed plus 2. And I already have set 1, so now I'll go, I'll start at 1. At 1, y should be 2. So 1, 2 is right. Okay? And that's your, this is again an achieved question. Okay. Now this was an easy question. This is, this is x, this is x, x and this is h of x. Now from this graph, you have to draw the graph of the gradient function. So this is h dash x. Or you have to draw the graph of this is the this is dy by dx. And this is x. So looking at this graph, the most important at one, at negative one, sorry, at negative one the gradient is zero. If you draw the gradient, the gradient is zero, yeah. To the left you have a positive gradient. You draw a tangent at any point, the gradient has is going to be positive. And to the right, it's going to be negative. So from a positive gradient, you're hitting a zero gradient and a negative gradient. So how will you draw that? The most important point is to plot this point. And then you have to just draw a line. So let me draw a line tool. Okay, so just let me take a line tool. And then I have to just draw a line. Oh, oops, sorry. I couldn't pick a line tool, hopefully. Yeah, so this is a line tool. And then you have to, oops, so let me, let me use my pen tool. So you have to just draw a line. So a line like this would do any if any gradient doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the graph of dy by dx. Okay, <coughs> let's do one more. In this question, the gradient is given. So basically, again, here yeah, you have got dy by dx. This is dy by dx is 3x squared minus 2x to the power 0. And you want to find the equation of the curve. Oops. Uh, want to go to, yeah, so you want to find the equation of the curve. You want to find the equation of the curve, that means they're asking you what is y equal to. So again, the same process. So y would be you increase the power by 1, so that is 3x cubed divided by 3 minus 2x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. So y, as a function of x, y is going to be x cubed minus 2x plus c. And it's passing through 2 comma 3, so when x is 2, y is 3. So I can put 3 is equal to 2 cubed 
minus 2 times 2 plus C. So 3 is going to be 8 minus 4 plus C. So 3 is equal to 4 plus C. So taking away 4 from both sides, so 3 take away 4 is C. So C is going to be negative 1. So the equation of the graph or the curve is y is equal to x cube take away 2x take away 1 and how would you check again the same process go to your table menu and when x is 2 y should be 3 so let's check it so let me get the equation go to your table menu uh, exit let me delete this first so x cube minus 2x minus 1. Enter and hopefully I got 1 to 5 so that will be enough. So 2 comma 3 is a point. Okay so this is again an achieved question.